Classmates, we previously learned about the construction of earthrock dams and the construction process of earthrock dam. Today, we will start learning the construction of concrete dam. Before class, the teacher assigns a task to each group. Ask them to collect information about grade 6 water conservancy hubs, the characteristics of dam engineering. Next, each group report information you have gathered. First group. We collected information about the Ertam hydropower station. The double curved concrete arch dam, using holes in the dam body to discharge flood water. Second group. We collected information about the base hydropower station. Its main dam is a roller compacted concrete dam, using orifices and center holes to discharge flood water. Teacher, our report has finished. Okay, second group's presentation is very detailed. Third group. Teacher, we collected information about the Danjianka hydropower station. The dam is a concrete dam. The concrete pouring volume is 3.21 million cubic meters. Using deep water discharge control in flood discharge dam sections, the Danjianka Water Conservancy Hub using one flow, W8 stage structure. It is also the water source project in the central line. The Chinese South to North Water Diversion Project. Fourth group. Teacher, we collected information about the Rock Beach Hydroelectric Power Station. Its dam is the first roller compacted concrete dam with height exceeding 100 meters ever built in China. The dam has spillway and bottom hole. Good. Fifth group. We collected information about the Changzha Water Conservancy Hub. Its main dam is a concrete dam. The total length is about 3,500 meters, is currently the longest dam of its kind. The sixth group. We collected information about the Waterfall Gully Hydropower Station. This dam is currently the tallest earth wall rockfill dam in the world. The dam discharge flood through the floodgate on the bank. Good. Each group has completed the pre-class task very seriously. From the reports, we know that. Among these six dams, there are five concrete dams, and a dam made of earth rocks. What is the difference between a concrete dam and an earth rock dam? Classmates of sixth group. Teacher, I found that there is no drainage holes in the middle of the earth rock dam, but the concrete dam has such holes. This classmate is very observant. Let's take a look at Waterfall Valley Hydropower Station Dam. It is an earth rock dam. The dam body of an earth rock dam cannot allow water to pass through. We need to build dedicated drainage by the shore. And Changja Water Conservancy Hub Dam is a concrete dam water can pass through. And we can build drainage hole in the dam body. This is the difference between concrete dam and earthrock dam structure. So there are construction steps and characteristics. What are their differences? Next, let's start learning. Construction of normal concrete dam. Please classmates return to your seats orderly. Concrete dams have become one of the most important dam types in China. According to the construction method, the concrete dams can be divided into normal concrete dam mainly, involving internal vibration construction, for example, the Danjianku hydropower station dam, and the roller compacted concrete dam, with external compaction construction as the main method, for example, the salt flat hydroelectric power station dam. Construction of concrete dams in China has reached the world's leading level. As great power heavy equipment, Three Gorges Dam, Utter Dam, and by Heaton Dam, are all the concrete dams that were built by our country. Representative of high quality dams. Classmates, come and take a look. The concrete pouring volume of the Baheaton Dam reached 8 million cubic meters, more than three Khufu pyramids in volume. How we built a concrete dam? With such a large volume? What construction steps are required? I conducted a questionnaire before class. To know the understanding of classmates on the construction steps of concrete dam, from the results, 86% of the classmates are not very familiar. Below, our task is to Based on the knowledge we have learned and pre-class preparation. Classmates discuss in group. Conducting brainstorm. Draw a mind map of the construction steps of a concrete dam and upload it to the learning platform. Let's start now.
This is also a lot of construction. The segment he should have said might need to be produced. Let's talk again about what the first step should be. I'll be here first. The material of the book is also very important. Classmates who have done well in pre-class preparation can share his insights more. Now it's also in sales. Is there effective transportation available behind? For the concrete, we will use a large amount of concrete, so we need to design a dedicated material yard. The material site is a certain distance away from our dam site, so we need transportation. Our second one is transportation, and then the third one is, but we have conducted experiments on population blocks. Also needs maintenance. The bus also needs to be divided into three stages. The first part is mostly what he also needs, and then the second one can be used. The third segment is more focused. The content posted by everyone is like this. Submit quality is good enough. A group has already submitted their results. Other groups need to cheer up. Okay, let's take a look at the submissions from five groups. The classmates of sixth catch up. Okay. So for these steps. Everyone can also think it over. Make group discussion. Okay, let's take a look. All six groups have submitted their results. I would like to invite one group to share their ideas. Which group? Second group. We have considered it this way. First, it will have concrete, mixing, concrete maintenance, concrete transportation, because the volume of the dam will be very large, so it is necessary to carry out block pouring. That is all, teacher. We believe that temperature control space is missing. Good. There are four steps that the second group is considering. The first group believes that they are missing one temperature control step. Let's take a look at the other groups again. Some groups have four steps. Some have three steps. Right, these are all steps that need to considered during construction of concrete dams. But it is still not enough. As a construction worker, we need to consider the characteristics of concrete dams, fully consider the construction steps. What are the main construction steps? Let's take a look together. Material preparation, material transportation, block design, block pouring, temperature control, block maintenance. Teacher, we know that the transportation of self-provided materials, material maintenance, and, but we don't know block, block design, and what is block pouring. The classmate of sixth group said, they don't know about what is block design and block pouring. In these six steps, do you have any steps that you don't understand? Teacher, our group didn't know the step of temperature control and the step of construction of earth rock dams. I understood. You didn't know the block design, block pouring, and temperature control, these three steps. Next, let's focus on explaining these three steps. Let's first look at the first one, block pouring. The volume of a rock fill concrete dam is very large. In the process of construction, we will divide it into small pieces and pour them one by one. Just like building blocks. This is the block pouring. And the process of designing blocks is called block design. Did everyone understand? Understood. Let's then take a look at temperature control. The volume of a concrete dam is very large. A large amount of cement will be used. And when cement is undergoes water exchange heat, what will it produce? Pressure. Yes, cement generates heat during hydration. 
and a large amount of heat will be produced, and these heat will accumulate inside the dam. It is easy to produce cracks when such heat can't be emitted, cause quality accidents. So, we need to do a good job of temperature control. Develop a consciousness of quality first. Okay, we have mastered the construction steps of concrete dams. In the following learning tasks, we will learn about quality control. Measures for each step one by one.